While they are rare, it was just late last year a small earthquake rattled central Illinois, a 3.6 on the Richter scale in Putnam County. But people as far as Wisconsin, southeastern Iowa, and northwest Indiana reported feeling it. Well, did you know nearly 75% of the United States could experience a damaging earthquake? That's one of the findings from the new USGS National Seismic Hazard Model. It's a color-coded map of the United States showing where damaging earthquakes are most likely to occur. Fox's Max Gordon has been speaking to scientists involved in the project. It's important to note that we're still unable to predict earthquakes, but by investigating fault lines and past quakes, scientists can better assess how likely future earthquakes will be and how intense the shaking might be. All that info has gone into this model. As you can see, there are some places in the U.S. where there's a significant likelihood that a damaging earthquake will hit in the next 100 years. Areas in red have a 75% chance or greater of experiencing damaging earthquake shaking in the next century. Parts of Alaska, the California coastal region, the Seattle area, and the Big Island of Hawaii are all hot spots with some of the highest likelihoods. But Americans elsewhere need to be ready as well. Nearly three quarters of the country could experience potentially damaging earthquakes, putting hundreds of millions of people at risk. This new model shows the possibility of more damaging earthquakes along the central and northeastern Atlantic coastal corridors, places you might not associate with earthquakes, including Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, and Boston. Those behind the project say they hope this information will inform architects, engineers, and policymakers on how buildings and other structures are planned and constructed across the U.S. And I think people might be um, surprised or interested to learn about their earthquake um, hazard, but what the real use of this model is for engineers and for building codes, right? So we want to build our buildings and infrastructure stronger for um, basically so that they withstand the next damaging earthquake. This is the first national seismic hazard model to include all 50 states. It also used new tools and technology, which helped identify nearly 500 additional faults in the U.S. that could produce a damaging quake. Back to you. We were talking here 